Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. You probably have seen my videos on Meshtastic. And if you haven't, well, go check, uh, you know, search for radio prepper Meshtastic and it will explain, uh, they explain to you what a uh, mesh network is and how it works and how uh, Meshtastic works. Now, there is another system that I heard about and that's called MeshCore. It comes from the, uh, the UK, I believe. And it's a little different. Well, the principle is about the same. It's still a mesh network. It does have some differences with MeshTastic. And the main one is that MeshCore relies more on uh, repeaters. So MeshTastic is more a node-to-node -node kind of mesh. MeshCore relies more on relays, you know, uh, uh, repeaters. And I'm going to try it. I'm going to take this uh, T114, the Heltec T114, install MeshCore on it, then I'll put it, uh, you know, on my balcony and take it with me at work and uh, see if I can receive any nodes. Now in the region, uh, you know, we have a pretty large uh, MeshTastic network here with about 60 nodes. Now we start to receive the Italians. Uh, so that's a lot of people. Everybody uses MeshTastic. We are here on 868 megahertz. It's Europe. 915 in the US and we are on long fast so I, I don't expect to hear anybody <laughs> and see anybody uh, on uh, MeshCore but hey you know I'll just do it for the installation to show you guys and uh, you know who knows so anyway uh, MeshCore if there are no repeaters uh, will work the same way then as MeshTastic but it's built to work with repeaters and it will work better that way. So keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise for prepping, well, it depends, you know, uh, for, for group communications, I would say uh, MeshTastic is, is better. Otherwise, uh, I would still choose MeshTastic over MeshCore, but, you know, nothing prevents you from you using both. Why not? You know, you, you can have both uh, the best of both worlds, you know, and you can have uh, the two apps on your phone. And uh, who knows? I mean, for the price of these things, you know, why not have two uh, or more? So let's give it a shot. So I'm going to uh, meshcore.co.uk and you'll have to excuse me. I have a cold. <laughs> so I'm looking for the uh, Heltec uh, T114. Oh, I see it right there. Okay, so let's click on that. And uh, so you have to use uh, uh, Google Chrome, by the way. That's the browser. You need to do that. And uh, I'm going to flash the, uh, the module. All right, so here we have a DFU mode. I'm going to enter that. And I see it right there. That's the one. I'm on a Mac, by the way. Connect. Erase flash, uh, since I have to erase MeshTastic, that's already on it. Again, I select the, uh, the module. That sounds good. <laughs> Let's see. Oop, let's do it. Again, so uh, flashing, well, that's a good sign. And it failed. <laughs> All right, retry, why not? And this time it works. Done, so uh, that's about it. That's all I have to do here, actually. So I installed the uh, MeshCore application on my smartphone. That was pretty easy. And of course, I'm not connected because, uh, well, I haven't connected any uh, device to it yet. I'm going to allow MeshCore to find uh, connect to and determine the relative position of nearby devices. So allow. And I see the module, so I'll click on that. Now you'll have to enter the, uh, the pin that uh, you'll see on the, the uh, device's screen. And it doesn't work. <laughs> of course, it, it would be too easy. All right, so I'll try again. I think it worked. All right, so uh, I have all the parameters here. It looks a lot like uh, MeshTastic, actually. I'll probably have to choose the uh, the region and uh, set the name of the uh, of the node. 
And uh, I see on top here uh, EU long range. I, I guess I'll choose long range because there probably aren't any uh, stations uh, close to me. So long range seems more appropriate. Here we see a little bit more of the uh, menu. So I named it uh, Gilles 9, <laughs> the same as the, uh, the name I gave uh, on Meshtastic for this one. Uh, everything seems to be uh, correct. I'm going to check uh, share position in advert and uh, everything else uh, seems all right. I'm just going to leave the uh, defaults there. I waited a week <laughs> and uh, actually two weeks. Uh, I used uh, the node at my work and uh, on my balcony and nothing, <laughs> not a single station. And I did send the, the heartbeats, you know, that's a signal uh, on the network that you are present and that didn't do anything. Uh, so there isn't really a, a way that I can test this any further, uh, except if I had a few more nodes and distributed them. But I've already done that with Meshtastic, so I'm not going to redo everything again. Uh, we have a very nice network here in the south of France and uh, it covers the whole coast. Uh, even to uh, uh, to Italy, so uh, I'm actually amazed <laughs> at the number of nodes that we have, and it's it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, but uh, there is nobody on uh, Meshcore. Now it doesn't mean that Meshcore is not a good option, and I think uh, in some instances uh, it is. Take for example the uh, a group that uh, wants to remain a bit uh, discreet and. Uh, uh, has a, a high point where they can put a, uh, a repeater. That would be a, a good way to use uh, Meshcore. And uh, so it, it has its uses and it depends on your region, I guess. If other people are using it, then you might as well use it also. Like I said, you can use both. Why not? Again, those nodes are pretty cheap, so I don't see any reason not to. There are a few things that I noticed uh, using uh, the node is that uh, the battery lasts a whole lot longer than uh, using Meshtastic, probably because there is uh, much less communications between the app and the node. Because I also noticed that uh, the app was disconnecting itself from the node constantly, and I always, practically always had to reconnect the node to, uh, to the app uh, to, to get the messages and that was a bit annoying I have to say but again if it saves battery and uh, saves the messages on the nodes it might be a good solution uh, it's, it's just a bit different than Meshtastic and uh, you know uh, why not I, I, again I don't see any reason not to use it but uh, I don't really have a use for it myself and that's about it really uh, if anyone knows much more about me, and I'm sure that's most people who've been using it, please comment uh, below and uh, give your arguments as to why a mesh core might be better. You know, if you're using it, maybe you think that it's better than Meshtastic. It is certainly different. So I would like to hear from you guys uh, if you've been using it. Let us know <laughs> what you think about it and how do you compare it to uh, Meshtastic. Anyway, it was fun for me to try, but uh, again, I, I just reinstalled Meshtastic on that node because uh, I'm just not going to uh, pursue that uh, those investigations, if I can call them that. And I'll stick with uh, Meshtastic here because uh, that's what everybody uses. And that's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys liked it. It's just a quick introduction and uh, have a good one.